We are out on the weather patio today with Dr. Stone from the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Congenital Heart Center here in Lansing, which is a mouthful for sure. <laughs> it is. Uh, it if is. people aren't familiar with the hospital or the center here in Lansing, explain what the hospital and center does. Yeah, we are a comprehensive heart center here in the Lansing area that's been serving uh, the greater Lansing community for over 30 years. We've been a part of Helen DeVos Children's Hospital team uh, since 2007. And Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids. Correct. We joined the team back in 2007. Tell us what kind of patients you treat there. Uh, we take care of patients uh, in terms of ages anywhere from fetal life uh, up until adulthood in patients born with heart problems, which we call congenital heart defects. And what kind of conditions is that? I mean, not to get too doctor talk sure, with us. Sure, <laughs> sure. So many of the patients we take care of are coming in to rule out a heart problem. So they might come in with chest pain, dizziness, fainting, for instance. On the other hand, we might have patients born with heart problems with what we would call congenital heart disease, where they may have a hole between the uh, top two chambers of the heart, a hole between the bottom two chambers of the heart. Some patients are born with critical narrowings right, right at birth that we have to take care of and uh, act accordingly. And how does that work? If a patient comes to uh, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Congenital Heart Center in sure. Lansing, are sure. they referred from another doctor or can they come in? Do, yeah. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's a great question. So we typically get referrals from family physicians, pediatricians, nurse practitioners in the area. And uh, typically within 24 to 48 hours of the time of referral, we're able to accommodate and sometimes in urgent scenarios, we're able to get people in on the same day. You kind of answered my next question about yeah. how long it takes for people to get seen because yeah. I think a lot of people have concerns. Well, if I'm gonna go, do I'm gonna have to wait three months to get an appointment, but that's not the case. Absolutely, and, and things that we may take for granted that are basic, like we see a lot of chest pain that might just be from the chest wall, what we would call musculoskeletal chest pain somebody might have injured themselves and they're having chest pain and they want to rule out a heart problem or uh, just teenagers and adolescents may have this type of pain and we want to rule out a problem so it's it may be simple to us but very concerning to the family so getting them in promptly is really important Oh yeah, because the parents have enough to worry about in this day and absolutely, age. So, yeah. Absolutely. How has the pandemic affected you guys in the way that you treat patients? Yeah, we've been up and running uh, pretty much since the beginning of it. There was a very short period of time where we were doing a lot of virtual visits. We still do have that option to do virtual visits if necessary. Uh, we, are, we are also seeing patients who have had COVID and want to rule out any post or after COVID mm -hmm. complications. All right, and it's important too because a lot of families, if, if their child is sick, they don't want to have to lug them over to Grand Rapids, you know, and do that drive there and then come sure. back. So it's important that people can come see you here in the Lansing area. Sure, absolutely. Uh, the the point of care here in Lansing, we serve a wide uh, a wide uh, range of patients uh, in terms of. Uh, the, the locations. Mm -hmm. So we see patients uh, actually over to the east in Flint, Grand Blank. We see patients to the north, uh, Mount Pleasant. Uh, so we have patients that come to see us from a, from a, a long range of distances and, and accommodating them here in Lansing is great. Yeah. And keep them close to home. That's very true. We also have outreach clinics where we actually go and physically see patients in Owasso and Mount Pleasant to serve those patients that have may have difficulty in accommodating them uh, at those clinics. Well, doctor, thank you so much for the information today. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it and stick around. There's still more to come on Studio 10.